Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well, and welcome back to the garage where today I'm absolutely delighted to say we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Triumph 400s. Now, don't get too excited because when I say we're going to take a look at the brand new Triumph 400s, I mean exactly that. We can only look at these bikes because these two machines I've got in the garage are actually pre-production machines. They are representative of the final machines, but they don't actually run. I don't even have the keys to them. They've got no fuel in them, no fluids, all that sort of thing. So it is just a look over the bike to get a bit of a feel, a first look uh, at what these bikes are like. It's a bit odd because these bikes have actually been for sale in India where they're made for the last few months. And if you want to see a, a ride review, then you can watch plenty of Indian ones uh, but these aren't actually going to be for sale here in the UK until January so early in the new year I will get a ride on one of these and I'll bring you my ride review but because uh, I'm very excited about these I think these bikes are absolutely going to hit the spot here in the UK as well as India because the pricing on these is very keen and they look absolutely smashing I think all right let's uh, without further ado let's just have a, a quick look at each bike uh, and kind of the differences about them then we'll uh, have a little sit on them see what they feel like see what they're like for a seat height and we'll go through the specs that sort of thing Alrighty, first up, let's have a look at this one. This is called the Speed 400. This is the more road-focused machine, and it's a it's a lovely uh, bit of kit, I think. This has uh, got quite a low seat height. Seat height, I think it's 790 millimeters, something like that. A bit less suspension travel than the Scrambler. That's sort of the primary difference between them. It's a little bit cheaper as well, as I say. We'll go into the specs a bit later, including pricing. But they're around about the five grand. So there we go. So they are they are value for money motorcycles, but they haven't skimped in any way. If you look at the quality of the fit and finish on here, things like this bracket here exactly the same sort of thing as I have on my on my speed twin if we come down and look at the finishings on the engines for example beautiful finishes here the brushed aluminium pieces are nice the paintwork looks really deep and lustrous these on here that is actually a sticker underneath lacquer but done very nicely it doesn't look like in any way there's any lack of quality I do love the big Triumph logo on here as well I always have a look at things like welds on bikes and having a look on the, on the welds here these are absolutely cracking uh, look like they're possibly done by machines actually they're almost too good for humans to do so I think uh, my point is the quality of the fit and finish on here looks absolutely brilliant. Let's have a quick look at the Scrambler then in the same way. So this obviously more of a, a sort of an off-roady focus one if you like. It's got things like uh, I was going to say a high level exhaust but it's not high level at all it's just a different design exhaust it's actually at the same angle if you look as the Speed uh, 400 uh, it's just more Scrambler-esque similarly things like the tyres on here these have got a slightly different tread pattern now I wouldn't describe those as knobblies by any means but if you look at that it's sort of it's more off-road oriented than say this which is clearly road oriented the tyres on here by the way what do they say Carew Street a Metzler Carew Street on the Scrambler and this is a Metzler Sport, Sportec M9. Uh, don't know much about those tyres, but anyway, so slightly difference on the tyres. The Scrambler also has this little grill on the front of the headlight, again, just to make it look a bit more off-roady. Got these hand guards as well. I noticed the mirrors on here are normal mirrors attached there, whereas on the Speed 400, we've got bar end mirrors. Not sure if they come as standard or not, actually. You'd have to look at the website to check that out. But uh, yeah, both really nice looking bikes. Again, in terms of fit and finish, no different on the Scrambler to the Speed 400. Uh, the welds look absolutely, well, almost too good to be true. Uh, yeah, very, very nice. No difference in the finish as far as I can see to any other Triumph that I've seen. These built bikes are built as a joint venture out in India. Uh, some people don't like that for some reason, but trust me, they look absolutely fine. Uh, Triumph quality is, is, has been fantastic over the last 10 years or so, and these look no different to me. All right, let's uh, sit on them, see what they feel like. All right, first up, let's have a sit on the Speed 400 then. And, well, first thing I notice when I sit on it is how light it felt as I took it off the stand there. Now this, as I say, pre-production bike, doesn't have any fluids in it, fuel, etc. So it will be at its lightest, but it does feel very, very light. Uh, sitting on here, seat actually, feels quite hard to be honest but it's a it's a comfy place to be a very nice position uh, I'm only a shorty five foot eight with a 32 inch leg uh, but as you can see my feet flat on the floor I think it's got a 780 millimeter seat height we'll go through the specs of the bikes in a minute but uh, yeah this is absolutely fine I can get my feet flat on the floor feels very confidence inspiring and a comfortable place to be uh, yeah nothing wrong with that at all very nice indeed let's jump straight on back to back with the scrambler see how this compares and straight away this feels like a much more substantial bike actually number one 
my feet are slightly more they're on tippy toe as opposed to uh, you know flat down there I've got a bit of a uh, you know straighter leg and when I put my feet on the pegs I've got uh, slightly less of a bend in the leg but they're, they're very very similar in that respect um, this here the handlebars feel a little bit higher to me and a little bit wider I don't know if they are or not but that's how it feels my overall impression is this scrambler feels a much more substantial bike. I'm not saying the speed doesn't feel like a substantial bike, but this just feels bigger, a bit more grown up perhaps. And here's Mrs. Flyer sat on the bike. She's five foot two and she can just about get her feet on the deck as well. And Mrs. Flyer's got no chance of getting her feet on the deck on the, uh, on the scrambler, unfortunately. All right, what about the stuff you're looking at when you're riding the Scrambler? I just, unfortunately, as I say, I haven't got the keys. I can't turn these on and show you what this looks like uh, when, you, when you switch her on. But it's a lovely looking little instrument display, isn't it? Obviously, there's some LCD bits and pieces here, and you've got a proper analog speedo. I really like that. Uh, and on the Scrambler, you've got this little bar here with the Triumph pad. Again, don't know if that's standard, but it looks quite Scrambler-esque, doesn't it? If we then contrast that with uh, the Speed 400, uh, you can see you haven't got the bar across here, and you've got exactly that same um, display, which I think looks absolutely great and is perfectly at home uh, you know an analog display on a retro style bike i think is absolutely perfect they do look good don't they all right let's talk specs Right, specs then, written them down as you'd expect. They're basically the same uh, engine on each box, so they're largely the same specs, but let me quickly whiz through them anyway. So the engine, single cylinder uh, engine, I think that's the first time in modern Triumph uh, that they've done a single cylinder bike. 398cc, 39.5 brake horsepower, and 37.5 newton meters of torque at 6,500 RPM. So, uh, just enough for the road, I'd say. Uh, well, the proof will be in the pudding. I cannot wait to actually have a ride on these, but around about 40 horsepower sounds all right to me. Uh, brakes on here. Uh, on the Scrambler, it's got a 320mm uh, front disc with a four-pot caliper. Uh, on the Speed, it's got a 300mm disc. Uh, at the back end, it's got a 230mm uh, disc uh, with a Bybre um, caliper, and that's the same on both bikes. Uh, Suspension-wise, the front of the Scrambler has 43mm upside-down forks with 150mm of travel. Uh, the travel on the Speed speed is 140 mil. Uh, the rear uh, on the Scrambler has uh, preload adjustable uh, shocks with 150 mil of travel and the travel on the speed is 100, uh, sorry, the suspension travel on the speed 400 is 130 mil. So that's one of the primary differences between the bikes is the, uh, the Scrambler has got more suspension travel and sits a bit higher. Uh, talking of which, the seat height on the Scrambler is 835 millimeters. On the speed, it's 790 millimeters, which is nice and low. So if you're a shorty, uh, then the speed is the one to go for. Uh, the weight of the bikes, the Scrambler 179 kilograms wet, uh, the speed 170 kilograms wet, so quite a bit uh, lighter on the, on the speed. Tank capacity of each bike's 13 litres. Electronics, well it has L LCD displays, LED lights, Bosch ABS and switchable traction control, I think that's on both bikes. Uh, and I said I'd talk about price. Uh, the Speed 400 comes in at 4995, so five quid less than five grand, I think that's an absolute bargain. The Scrambler 400X, the green one, is at 5595. Um, I spec'd out, you can add some optional extras if you go onto the website, I spec'd out a Speed 400 uh, and that came out at 5777 with all the extras I wanted, including including a top box. So, uh, you know, if you bargain at less than six grand, you're going to get all you want on these bikes. All right, so there we go. That's pretty much my first look at the new Triumph 400s. It's a real shame we haven't been able to ride them today, but hopefully, as I say, in the new year, we'll be able to. Before we round off, though, what about competitors for these bikes? And for me, the obvious competitor is the Royal Enfield Hunter 350, a bike I absolutely loved. I'll put a link in the corner to my video of that. And previously, that was one of my favourite small capacity, cheaper motorcycles. Now, it does come in cheaper than the Triumphs. It's 3,500 plus on the road charges. Call it four grand. These are, say, a five and five and a half grand ish so substantially more money but these are twice the power of the Royal Enfield these as I say 40 horsepower the Royal Enfield is about 20 the Royal Enfield I think is 181 kilograms so these are lighter than the Enfield uh, and in the case of the Speed 400 it's uh, also not as high as the Enfield as well so a bit more accessible these bikes uh, and in terms of the build quality uh, although the Enfield is perfectly adequate I'd say these are a, a different league again in terms of build quality. So, uh, yeah, the Triumph absolutely is worth the extra thousand quid or so for sure. And I think if I was Royal Enfield, I'd be quaking in my boots. I think these are going to have quite a bit of that market. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see these. I think they're going to absolutely fly off the shelves. And uh, I must admit, I'm quite tempted myself to get one for Mrs. Fly. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until next time, this has been the Mr. Fly. Cheerio. Thank you.